the Christmas story is a beautiful one. And if there's a story that Christians know well, it is the Christmas story. We kind of have our different ideas of all the things, the way it would have played out if it were a, a movie. Maybe some of us have even seen some of these events portrayed on the screen. So the uh, shepherds, they're in the fields and it is at night and the angels give them the news. And so they go into the town of Bethlehem to find this baby. And sure enough, they discover him. And when they see him, they make known all the things that they had been told about this child. When they see him, they make known. Now, when you look at some Bible translations, you will, that word make known, you will see something like spread abroad or spread the good news. And it gives the reader the impression that, uh, boy, they must have gone out into the highways and byways, maybe on their way back to the fields and told everyone they saw about this amazing miracle. Now, I don't know all the things that the shepherds did and at what time they were out on the streets and things like that, but a question we can ask ourselves is when Luke reports that they made known, where were they? Were they on the streets of Bethlehem? Or, or were they at the manger side speaking to those who were there? Now, I think the general thought is that it's out on the streets of Bethlehem, and that might happen because that, that conclusion may be there because of, first of all, a variant reading when it comes to the word in Greek for make known. So, gnoridzo is the word to make known in Greek, and dia gnoridzo is the word to thoroughly make known. So, some manuscripts have dia gnoridzo. Now, dia gnoridzo, thoroughly make known, can either mean to make known across a broad area, um, so the dia prefix can mean uh, a large spread of space, or it can mean to thoroughly make known. So that word in itself doesn't tell us for sure whether they did it in the streets of Bethlehem or, were they, or whether they, in great detail, did it right around the manger. Um, that particular variant reading is probably not the most likely, and, and most modern translations don't choose that particular word. They just use the regular gnorizo, make known. So as you read through the story and the shepherds find Jesus and it says after seeing him, they made known there's really no indicator in the text that they had left the manger. Wouldn't it make very natural sense that the shepherds come in like, who are you guys? <laughs> what are you here for? And then they say, oh, oh, oh wait, hold on a second. Let, let, let me tell you what just happened out in the fields of Bethlehem, right? They would have made known to the people that are there. Well, another reason some might feel uncomfortable thinking of that speech happening in the manger area is because it says in the following verse that all who heard it were amazed. Now, if only Mary and Joseph were there, would that qualify as all? Well, I suppose finally, um, Mary and Joseph are everyone who, who was there, but I don't think it's too unlikely that there could have been other people there in the manger area. These were families that had come together for this census. And so could there have been people who knew Mary was pregnant and she needed some help and, and, and here they were to be there? I, I, we don't know. But the bottom line is the word all doesn't in any way suggest where it had to be. The, the other thing is the following verse, after all were amazed at this, it says Mary pondered these things. Is it not likely that she was pondering the things that were said by the shepherds and, and then all of the events that were happening. In other words, the shepherds found the baby, they saw the baby, they told all that had happened, everybody was amazed at it, Mary pondered all these things, and then what does Luke say? Then the shepherds returned. Like that's the motion word at the end. Then they went back. Then they went back to their fields. And as they were traveling through Bethlehem, did they have anything to say to the people they met? Um, interestingly, like I don't know how many people they would have met. It, it could have still been dark, um, but we don't know for sure. Whatever the case, we know that when they returned, they were glorifying and praising God. Just among themselves, you know, you're glorifying and praising God. No doubt when they ran into people, they did the same thing that they did at the manger side. They told of the great things that they had seen and heard, and they praised God for it. And so, yes, the shepherds were absolutely missionaries, evangelists. They told of the great things that God has done. The only question is whether that first mention of their thoroughly making known or making known everything that they had seen and heard happened 
in the manger area or whether it was already in the streets. It seems quite likely that they were telling Mary and Joseph and everyone else who was there what the angels had said about the great plans of God. The Christmas story is very well known. The more we think about it, the more meaning it has for our lives. Be as excited as the shepherds wherever you're at. Let words flow from your lips, the story of God's plan and praising God for his plan.